Michael Aldag. Hello, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you, Sam? I'm not too bad. Um, whereabouts are you currently in the world? I'm currently in my bedroom on the Wirral, which is just, for those who don't know, just outside Liverpool. Lovely. And um, of course, Michael, uh, you, you've been very, very busy uh, recently. And um, I literally, before this interview, finished watching uh, a clip uh, of your single Divorce, in which you're singing <laughs> with uh, a live orchestra in a studio. Yes. It, it felt kind of, because we've seen so much music kind of online and things like that. It felt kind of weird to me to watch it. And, and was it was, was that for, the same for you when you were there? Oh, it was it was so that experience was so it was magical for me to, to be able to perform with um, live people, first of all, uh, for like the first time in about 100 years. And then to perform with strings. It was just so beautiful. And they were performing my song. And I really I was absolutely just gushing. Um, I spent most of the, the session with my jaw just like that. I just yeah. could not believe Definitely. that it was happening. Um, but yeah, it was fantastic. And I love big orchestras like that. I'm a massive James Bond fan. So when I mm. saw the big orchestra like that, that is like my type of music. And I, I, yeah. I'm a big fan when Pete Tong uh, did, of course, he, he did an orchestral album and it was just like ridiculous. So yeah. I imagine it was an honor kind of for you kind of working, working with those type of people. Hugely, hugely. Like I, I've, I've said um, to my mum, like the, the last time that I um, was around like orchestras was when I was in, in choirs when I was like, uh, 12 or you know 14 and I was I was very young and, and kind of didn't appreciate it fully then so to be able to to be around it again and and soak it all in was was really very special special to me and I, I loved and I think at the end of the, the video you can see uh, when when everything stops playing you can just see a massive cheesy smile on my face and and that's exactly how I felt. Yeah, I hate circumstances where you're like that. I remember uh, interviewing, slightly off topic, I remember like interviewing someone like Michael Sheen and here in Wales, where I'm from, that's like chatting to the king. And throughout the whole yes. interview, I was like, I'm so happy <laughs> right now. Um, but Michael, kind yeah. of in the music scene yourself, you, you're fairly new to the music scene yourself. You're, you're, you're coming into it, you're, you're starting out properly. Um, so kind of uh, how, how have you found it so far as a musician? It's been, um, it's been, Cool. It's been strange with the circumstances because um, things have kind of started moving a lot for me over the past kind of six months to a year um, without any live performance, which is really weird because I always imagined that I'd be out gigging, gigging, gigging. But um, so it's all happened kind of from my bedroom but now it's opening up again, which is nice. So I went and recorded the string session and I've been to record like different uh, songs uh, up and down the country, which is which has been really um, really fun and 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 kind of gives you more gives you more to write about and and everything like that. But it's been it's been really cool. It's been it's been good, and I'm I'm excited to to kind of make more music and and let people hear it. Yeah, and I imagine there's something quite um, like you said. You started during a pandemic. Essentially, your career has kind of skyrocketed in the pandemic. Um, so I imagine there's almost something like it, it almost makes you feel a bit like, oh well, you know, I've conquered the biggest challenge now. Uh, so now that when I go back into the music industry, like I will be fine because I've kind of you know struggled at the beginning. Sort of. I mean, yeah. I don't want to like think that I've overcome the the, the greatest hail because this. Don't uh, jinx it. Don't jinx it. <laughs> oh, well, I, I think I think there's gonna be there's definitely gonna be more more challenges and and whatnot, but that's to be expected. So I'm, you know, um, but I think it's been yeah, it's definitely strange, and I'm definitely pleased with like kind of because it is a weird time. Nobody knew what they were doing. I'm pleased that kind of um, I just worked hard and got a bit lucky here and there with 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 you know different social medias and whatever else and and kind of how everything fell um that I didn't kind of waste waste a year um of of just you know which I could have done but I, I, again it's been very difficult for everyone so I'm not you know it's, it's 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 a really strange it's a really strange thing but I'm pleased on a career level about how how I've yeah navigated it Definitely. And we briefly touched upon the fact there that you um, were, you know, you, you'd seen choirs when you were younger. Um, yeah. So kind of what was your biggest musical inspiration? Why did you want to go into music? Um, I, 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 so I did a solo for, for um, the Christmas, the Christmas play in when I was seven years old. 
And I put myself forward for that. And I don't know why I must have just liked singing a lot. I think my grandma says I was always singing in the back of the car. So I just always was singing. And then I put myself forward for the solo and then went into choirs. So from, from a fairly early age, it's not like, oh, all I've ever wanted to do is be a musician. Because I think when people say that, it's a little bit like cliche. And well, you can't have known what you wanted to be when you were three years old. Um, but I, from from a fairly early age, I was kind of uh, focused on that. Um, yeah, so I think it came from choirs. And then I started writing my own stuff when I was 14 um, and producing when I was 16. Um, and I've just loved it ever since. I really, I really love I spend most of my time like writing music or producing it. Um, it's just such a great outlet um, for 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 me personally. So I think it's helped me through a lot of uh, really tough situations I've had or just anything. It's it's been helpful. So I think that's why I kept yeah. coming back to it. Yeah, that's a common theme actually with music. You find that a lot of people kind of write music and actually produce music, and it um or have got that kind of creative outlet, mm -hmm. and it uh it's good for your mental health, and it's it's very very positive thing in people's lives. Um, yeah. but um, you know, you you've got this new single now, divorce. Uh, mm -hmm. tell us more about the, this title. I'm guessing you you haven't been divorced yet. Uh, not yet, no. Not yet. <laughs> no, not yet. Um. I haven't, I haven't gone that far. Divorce is a song that kind of embodies what I was just saying. Then it, I was at a very, very uh, low point. Um, and this was about, this was about a year ago um, mm. in the, in the midst of the pandemic. Um, and I was at a low point. I just, it's about a break, breakup. And then basically I just poured all my feelings into this song. And it's quite a, it's quite a, it, it's a very honest song. It's it, it, a very kind of, harshly honest song um but I think it had to be and and it like I said it really helped me and um I just think it's a accurate portrayal of my emotions I didn't really want to dress anything up or kind of self-edit too much I think it's mm. just a raw kind of reaction me feeling sorry for myself and and lonely and blah 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 but I think I hope that people can can well, I don't hope that people can relate to that, but you know what I mean? If you're yeah, there, yeah, I hope yeah, it can definitely. help. Yeah. yeah. And it, it almost, make, when you listen to things like that, it almost makes you feel that you're not going through it by yourself. Yes. You, you've got somebody else there. Um, Michael, a slightly vague question now. What, what's the dream? What What would you kind of, where would you like to take your music career? What What do you want? Um, I've all, So for a long time, I've always said that I want, I'd like to do a stadium tour. That's my, that's my kind of big dream. So that's, that's what I'd like to do. Um, I'd like to do that, but just to get to perform my music as a living would be would be amazing. I just love I love performing to people, and if my music can, uh, yeah, like you said, help people or or mean something to them, and you know, specific moments in their life, that would be that would be an absolute dream come true. So so that that's that's what I'd like. Yeah. Do you have any musical inspirations? Who do you kind of look up to as music artists? Um, yes, I do. I've got, so I think the Killers are probably one of my biggest inspirations. Love the uh, Killers. They're fantastic, <laughs> aren't they? They're fantastic. I think everything about them, the, the way they perform live, um, their, their songwriting, um, the production, the kind of anthemic nature of a lot of their songs really makes me kind of, it just hits me right in my chest. And I think that's the sort of music that I'd like to kind of yeah um, make as well um but apart from that like Bastille I think sonically I sound a bit like Bastille and the 1975 I like I love their lyrics and Phoebe Bridges as well she's got fantastic lyrics amazing uh well Michael uh, you seem to be uh doing incredibly well uh with your music career um you will make it as big as the 1975 and all these different types of bands thank and you. artists um Michael from all thank of us thank you very much thank you thank you Sam <laughs>